All right, so I am eight weeks out from my show officially now. Well, seven and a half because I'm recording this midweek. This week thus far has been pretty good. So the intention for my cheat meal was that I was hoping that it was gonna bring my weight up because it's been dropping. Unfortunately, it did not go up after my cheat meal. My weight was 138.8 before my cheat meal and I was hoping to bump it up to about 141 because I was really hoping that I could step on stage at around 140, no less than 137. But seeing as how far out I am, you can't really dictate that. And I'm currently 137.4. So my weight dropped pretty significantly after my cheat meal. Clearly all my cheat meal did was like fill up my glycogen stores. And uh, I mean, I put all those calories at good use. My body just absorbed it all. It just sucked it all up. So that's good. Though my cheat meal absolutely kickstarted my metabolism to a whole other level. Your metabolism gets slower as you start to go further and further into your prep. So once you give it a lot of food, your metabolism speeds up in order to burn it all off. Um, so it kickstarted my metabolism again. And my hunger level this week has been crazy. I've been chugging water and chewing like the same couple pieces of gum because I try not to eat too many pieces of gum. I mean, I'm used to it and it's all part of the process. So unfortunately today I hurt myself. I didn't do anything unusual. I was just doing some sumo squats and I felt this pain in my back which really freaking sucks. So I'm getting it looked at tomorrow and hopefully it gets better. I had my rib pop out of place before, so it's definitely not that, but it could be some of the muscles around there telling me that they're a little bit exhausted from prep. I mean, I have a slight feeling that it is because of posing practice. I don't have amazing rotation of my trunk. Um, and so when I have to get into some of my poses for figure, I think, it kind of kind of shifts things and makes my muscles a little bit uncomfortable. So it could be from posing practice on top of the deficit I'm in, not 100% sure. But like I said, really hope it goes away soon because being injured on prep is the worst ever. So fingers crossed. In terms of energy levels this week, I am good. No issues with my energy. I've just been going to bed early, which is fine. I'm tired by like 9.30, I'm ready for bed, so I'm in bed by 10, but that's cool with me. Totally cool going to bed early. I also have to get up early, so it's whatever. And that's all to report thus far. So there is not that much to report for this week. Like I said, I hurt my back, but it is feeling much better now. I've gotten it treated, so that's been really helpful, but I'm still keeping it low weight, high rep. I'm off to go to the gym right now and then I'm getting it treated again. So lots of treatment. Like I said, my energy has been fine. It's just at night, I'm like pretty much done by about like 9.30. My energy goes from like here to goes down. That's okay. I don't mind going to bed early. So it doesn't bother me. I did some posing practice this morning um, and then I took obviously a video so that I can compare and I'll show you guys. The left side is one week out from my show last time and the one to the right is me at seven weeks out from my current show. So we are definitely making progress, which is great. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm gonna go hit a leg workout. I'm gonna take you guys along and that is it for this vlog. Um. Lightweight is going with high rep stuff until my back is 100% because that is important. If you are injured, do not overdo it, especially when you're on prep and you're dieting and you don't have any food in you. Um.
leg press, you do the three different stance variations. Reese is just being a little annoying today. It's been pissing me off. Here's a tip to all you boyfriends dating competitors. Do really not, not that piss, hard. Do not piss them off when they're prepping for a show. Anyways, so what you do for the leg press, you do the three different stance variations. You do eight at each stance. So eight wide, eight shoulder, and then eight narrow, all in a row, five sets, and you'll die. And you superset that with cap raises. Um. Um...